Hey everybody, Dare Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for this Let's Play of Who is Mike? We are on part three now. We have completed endings four, five, six, and nine. So we have five endings left to get. Oh, I found another uh, route, but I don't really know how. <laughs> so I'll be reading from here. Sarah turned to the other Mike. So, Mikey, did anything special last night? Huh? Went around town? Had a good time? Sarah, is this another one of your random questions? Nope. So, did you go anywhere else? Um... Not really. Why? By the way, those are really nice glasses. Are they new? Uh... Got them yesterday? Oh, right. Yeah. Yesterday. I guess I forgot to mention it. Is it a big deal? You know how forgetful I am. No, of course not. Dot, dot, dot. So where's your old pair? That old thing? I, I threw them out. They were falling apart. You've harped me about them ever since. I thought I might as well. I see. Yeah. Hmm. Come on, Sarah. I hope you aren't implying that I'm faking just because I have new glasses on. Definitely not. This has nothing to do with your new glasses. Well, uh... Although, Mike... Care to tell me why this other Mike has your old ones? Ooh, she's sharp. Sarah points at the grimy pair of scratched glasses perched on my nose. What? I... I, I don't know. He might have gotten his hands on them. Hmm. What? It's far more likely you got a new pair because the old pair was still stuck on the original mic. That's preposterous. I'm talking to two versions of my boyfriend here, so I am all for it at this point. You didn't really believe I had that memory loss, did you? I knew you attacked me, but I had to make noise to alert Sarah. What? I feigned memory loss to buy time, maybe even lower your guard. My main goal was to get Sarah downstairs and catch you out. I knew you couldn't get rid of me once I made the noise. There was something weird about you. Just a gut feel, I guess. Five questions in, I knew you were faking. Nice try, though. But, but everything I said was the truth. What a person says isn't as important as the body language they project, hun. Or in your case, your apparent lack of them. You may have Mike's face, voice, and memories, but darling, you gotta work on your acting. May I suggest jazz fingers next time? <laughs> Look, I don't know what your deal is, and I don't think I want to know. Just get out of my life and stop using my face. Give it up, Herp. Uh-oh, he's got an evil smile. Mumble. Uh, guess I got caught. His inhuman laughter pierced my ears and made goosebumps prickle at the back of my neck. Ugh. Sarah and I watched as the man with my face smiled. His eyes glowed bright red in the darkness, emitting their own light like an ember. But we were having such a good time, Sarah, darling. I was with you the whole night. Bet you didn't even know I was fake before this scum got lucky. Yeah, but I knew something was off. Piece of advice, though. Next time, pick a dumber couple, bucko. He was still wearing my face. He looked genuinely hurt when he spoke again. Everything I said was the truth, Sarah. I am still Mike. Heart and mind. I am he. He is I. Give me a week, and even you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. A week? What does he mean by that? After all, if I had the memories, personality, and essence of someone... How can anyone say I'm fake? Um, you have those freaky, glowy red orbs for eyes? I would say that's a pretty big giveaway. His face contorted into amused anger. Mike, look out! The next thing I know, his long arms were outstretched, making a grab for my neck. I felt his fingertips graze my skin, and my throat made an involuntary gulp. Th that was close! With no time to think, I made a dive for the bat and flung the heavy end into my attacker. 
but he only parried the blow with his arm. Ah, it didn't look like it was going to stop him for long. Run, Sarah! Back off! Whoa. You brought your gun with you? I heard a thud. Better safe than sorry. You mean better paranoid than di- <sighs> A monstrous force flung my body, and I collided with the hard wall of the living room. I felt my ribs break with the impact. Ugh. Uh, ugh. Mike! S Sarah. Yeah. Sarah fired more shots at the creature. One of them grazed him on the left arm. It wasn't enough to maim him. The fake Mike swiped the gun out of Sarah's hand, and it careened under the table. Ugh. He grabbed Sarah by the neck. Fear bubbled up inside me. It was bigger than any pain I've since endured. Sarah! N no! Let her go! Sarah groaned helplessly, struggling against the inhuman hand that belonged to me. Cold sweat enveloped my skin in a thin, terrified film. Easy now, boy. I'm not going to kill her. Yet. I heard a snicker escape from the attacker's mouth. But look at this mess. You really should have just stayed unconscious when I hit you with that bat, you know. Ugh, spared us all this drama. It, go to hell! Oh, we will, I promise. After all, the host has to be alive while I eat. I gulped. When you say I eat, do, do you mean... No, not your flesh, boy. Life! Life is so much tastier than flesh. Your memories, your thoughts, your future. All of the things that make you a human. Oh, so is he like a, um, doppelganger? They say when you see your doppelganger, it means you're going to die. Hmm, I'll help myself, don't mind if I do. And when you've been stripped down and barren to the bone, you will simply wither away. Like a scab that was once flesh and blood. One week to live. I... I'll think about that later. Right now, I have to get Sarah to safety. My eyes darted to her, my insides churning at her labored breathing. The imposter followed my eyes with a knowing chuckle. So, shall we start with your lovely Sarah? Work our way down, piece by piece? Sarah struggled as the grip on her throat tightened. That sounds like a leather glove or something. The creature started to lift her up from the floor by her neck. S stop Stop, please! I beg you! Please! I I'll do anything! Anything! The bat fell from my hands as I surrendered. All hope lost, my knees buckled, and I crashed to the floor. Anything? What could you possibly give me that I can't take, human? You did get found out by a local police officer. Looks to me that you need help crafting a more human image. I'm a writer. I do that for a living. Fake Mike's ears pricked up. A grin spread across his face. Just let her go, please. I don't know how, but I'll make it worth your while. I was still contemplating my fate when Mike let out a sudden yelp of pain. It seems that Sarah kicked him in the nuts. <laughs> As his grip loosened around her neck, Sarah broke Mike's fingers down to his knuckles. He screamed in fury. Sarah dropped to the ground, gasping for air. <laughs> Mike! You always did talk too much! Fake Mike let out a growl as he lunged for Sarah's hair. But Sarah managed to slip away from him. Sarah! You get out of the house now! Get out while you can! Idiot! Like I'm gonna leave you to be eaten! She sprinted up the stairs to find another weapon. You s stubborn You'll get cornered upstairs. Ugh Angry black dots began to dance in my vision. The pain in my side poked my consciousness, prodding my vision to wither. I I can't lose consciousness now. I I was jolted awake by the sound of a huge crash. So ow How long was I unconscious for? The stand clock informed me I'd been lying here around ten minutes or so. I sighed in relief. Looks like I haven't been out long. Oh, ten minutes is plenty of time for your girlfriend to get killed, buddy. I tried to stand up. Ugh. 
My ribs. I, but I had to get up. I crawled towards Sarah's gun under the coffee table. Apart from the crash that woke me up, everything was dead quiet in the house. I didn't know what I hated more, the silence or the anticipation of Sarah's screams. Is anyone even here now? I wiped the blood dripping off my chin and steadied myself. I have to be sure. Ugh. My sides felt like they were on fire. Every step I took sent a jolt of pain through my whole body. Oh yes, the stairs are going to be a fun ride. I made my way to the second floor with little ease. This place didn't feel like my house anymore. Like I entered another dimension that looked the same but was not the least bit similar. Tiny beads of sweat popped across my forehead. I held the gun close. Don't panic. I have to focus on protecting Sarah. I don't care what happens to me. I just want her safe. Sarah! If you're there, please, call out to me. Let me know if you're here. I waited for a couple of seconds before my ears picked up a muffled sound. Mike! It came from the guest room. I hurried over to the door and tried to open it. Sarah? Oh, Mike! <laughs> I'm so glad you found me. I frowned. There was something weird about the way she sounded. But I couldn't quite make it out. Get me out of here, Mike! I jiggled the lock, but it didn't open. I'm scratched up good. We have to get out of here before that monster comes back. I winced again. Is this really Sarah? Her voice sounds really strange. I shrugged it off and continued to push the door open. Give me a second. I tried again, but the door wouldn't budge. Sarah, I think the door might be stuck. Don't worry, I'll get you out, I promise. I tried kicking the door. The pain shot up my leg like a bolt of electric fire, but now was not the time to be a sop. I kicked it a couple more times, each time was a glowing red pain in my extremities. Pretty soon the door showed signs of moving. Mike, what are you doing? It was Sarah, but the voice didn't come from the door. I turned around. In front of me was another Sarah, bloody and injured, her arm limp at the right shoulder. I stared at her listlessly. S sarah Don't open the door, Mike! He's in there! Mike, what's happening? Sarah? There's Sarah here, too! Mike, listen to me! She is not real! That's the fake one inside. I was able to fight it off and lock it inside the room. It kept ramming at the door over and over until the door got stuck. That's a lie, Mike! I ran to the room and locked it from the inside. It destroyed the door so I couldn't get out. <sighs> get me out of here, please. Don't listen to her. Mike, look at me. I'm the real Sarah. My mind couldn't believe what was happening. Edges of a migraine pressed at the fringes of my brain. My hands tightened on the gun. If you open that door, Mike, I'm quite sure that guy is going to come straight for me. It doesn't need my essence. It needs yours. He'll kill me for sure. Mike, listen to me. It's trying to trick you. You have to believe me, Mike. Mike, please! The Sarah in front of me took a step forward. I pulled my gun nearer to my chest, but I couldn't bring myself to aim at her. She stopped. Get back, Sarah. L let me think. Just get back. My heart rammed in my chest. I knew I had to calm down. At this point, I wouldn't be able to think clearly. Oh, who am I kidding? Even on a good day, I couldn't deduce the truth like Sarah. I'm no detective. Mike, please. You have to shoot the fake Sarah. Shoot her. Just what she wants, isn't it? Don't listen to that monster. If we just leave it there, we can escape. It's just desperate to get out, Mike. Mike, please believe me. Put the gun down. Mike, I know it's hard, but you have to be brave. I need to think first. This is too sudden. But what am I going to do? The weight of the situation made my hands shake. 
Can I really murder someone in cold blood? Somebody I love? If I make a decision too hastily, it's a mistake I can never undo. Uh, alright. And one says to let the time run out. I decided to take a step back and relax. The breath that came out of my lips wavered and shook. Nevertheless, my speeding heart thanked me for the comfort. But I still need to decide soon. Mike, time is running out! Please, hand me the gun! W what should I do? Something bad is going to happen if I don't decide now. But I'm so confused. I need more time. Think, Mike. Think. There has to be another way out of this. Uh, let's, let's wait till... Ask a question pops up. Okay. Wait. I think I should ask you both a question so I can make sure which one is the real Sarah. Mike! Haven't we established that trivia questions mean nothing? Well, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> Fine. Make it count, then. Admittedly, I was just trying to buy time before the inevitable happens. I struggled to come up with that one perfect question that would lead me right to Sarah. Finally, a spark flew into my mind. I turned to Sarah in front of me. The Sarah inside the room was wounded. She told me her injuries. Okay. Which shoulder? Not the shoulder. It has a bullet wound in the right thigh. I managed to land a bullet on it downstairs. I nodded severely, my jaw clenched. The Sarah inside the room didn't really tell me any injuries. But if this is the real Sarah, then she would be correct. Uh, shoot. I didn't have time to think it through better. I didn't have a choice. Did I? I watched Sarah's body crumple to the floor in a heap. My heart ached as she looked at me with sadness and confusion. Is this ending one, or did I do wrong? Nothing's happening. I... No. No. A low, amused laughter resonated behind the door. Sarah? I ran to her gasping body and cradled her head in my arms. Please, no. I have to stop the bleeding. I have to... But the circle of red grew larger and larger around Sarah's body. Sarah! Sarah! Behind me, the door cracked open. Into the cursed hero. Okay, I really thought that I had taken the options to get ending one, but I don't know, maybe I read the stuff wrong. Let me go back to the last one instead of shooting her, not shoot her. Let's see if that works. No, I want to load game. Load. Are you sure? No! Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. So let's skip to the options. The first one, wait. And then the second one, uh, what? Ask a question. Skip. And then here, should I think, I guess? I need to ask one last question. I turn to Sarah behind the door. This Sarah standing in front of me is injured. What are her injuries? Wait a minute, that's the same... Oh. Dislodged right shoulder and fractured fingers. Must have broken it when he was strangling me. <sighs> Wait, that's it! Everything was made crystal clear by that last question. I was glad I took the time to think. I faced the wounded Sarah in front of me. There was no doubt about it. Uh, I guess now I shoot? Please! The sound of the gunshot made my ears ring a note I will remember forever. Sarah crumpled to the floor. I brought the gun down to my side and walked over to her. I looked in her eyes. They were indeed hers. Th this is embarrassing. Being killed by a human. You know what, though? Sarah? She's not afraid of dying. S -s Sarah held her hand up to me. Hold me, M Mike. P please. I I'm sorry. I was just... Ugh. I took her cold hands into mine and warmed it with my breath. Monster or not, this was my Sarah. Knowing that it isn't didn't matter at all. 
Not right now, not while she is helpless and dying rapidly in front of me. Reluctant tears fell from my face. I know what Sarah wants for her birthday. Stop talking. You'll just strain yourself. She'll never tell you, but I know what it is. Something borrowed. Something blue. <coughs> Dark blood sputtered from out of Sarah's mouth. She shivered. Mike, be careful. You know about us. They won't like it. What? Who is they? They might... <coughs> Cold. Mike, what's happening? Are you there? P please... The real Sarah's voice called from inside the room. I turned to the door and looked back at the fake Sarah. Go. Sarah, I'm okay. M mike I'm here. I walked to the door. Everything's okay now. I'll get you out of there. Mike, I... I thought... Sarah started to sob. I waited patiently behind the door. Pretty soon I heard her sniff and take a couple of calming breaths. Okay. I'll push the door. You pull it open, all right? On three. The door finally gave way, and Sarah jumped into my arms as soon as it opened. My ribs complained, and I croaked in pain, almost at the same time Sarah winced because of her injuries. We both laughed. How did you know it was me? I was really worried back there. I... I just got lucky. What do you mean? I thought you had some sort of plan. Yes and no. It was a long shot. It didn't come to me at once, after all. So what was the point of asking about our injuries? To solve for time originally, but it actually managed to prove my theory after all. A theory, hmm? It was your voice. My voice? I'd hoped the creature wouldn't remember that little detail. When you first called to me, you sounded really strange. Your voice... It was raspy and sounded like it belonged to a different person. And then, while I was asking you the question, you suddenly mentioned the strangling incident. That's when it all clicked. You were strangled just recently. That's why you didn't sound like yourself. There was significant damage to your voice box. The other Sarah's voice sounded just fine. You're right. What? You did get lucky. <laughs> it was a stressful situation, right? It's the most my brain could come up with. Sarah grinned. She pushed my old grimy glasses up my nose. I guess we have to be thankful for the little details. Is it over, Mike? I hope so. But as we turned to look at the fallen imposter, it had disappeared from sight. Red drops of blood made a trail for the open window. It escaped! Ugh! I didn't say anything. I knew I should be worried or alarmed that the creature was loose. But I just didn't care at the moment. Seeing Sarah lifeless with blood curdling on the floor just a while ago, and now this Sarah alive in my arms, I can't shake the feeling I've been given a second chance. I held Sarah in my arms and hugged her tight. Do you think it will ever come back? What? <sighs> well, if it does, we'll be ready. End one, the catalyst. Yeah, now I assume that since it's ending one, that's the real ending. And the best ending. The good ending. Yay! That didn't really feel that long, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get another ending. I guess we'll go back to that other thing and just not shoot at all. Loading, yes. Okay, so let's... don't shoot. Yeah, I can't skip here, so this will be the new ending. I just... couldn't do it. I can't shoot her. I can't even aim at her. I looked down into her pleading eyes and felt an overwhelming surge of love and helplessness. She has to be my Sarah. She has to be. I stood up with effort and limped towards her. M mike Behind me, the other Sarah's voice screamed. It's going to be all right, honey. She held up her uninjured hand out to me, and I reached for it blindly. A sharp, cold pain went through my stomach. I dropped to my knees as my blood pulled around my feet. Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. 
You had me worried for a second there. A small penknife glittered in Sarah's hand. But I wasn't really that worried. I can see it in your sad, adorable eyes. I can feel it in my bones. You wanted me to be the real Sarah. It's so sweet how you love me so much. Even to the point of deluding yourself. I love you too, sweetheart. She knelt beside me. I flinched as her cold hands brushed the hair off my face. But I'm sorry to say this. I think we have to break up. I found a new host. No. No! Does this mean... It's only natural. I mean, why do I have to settle for you? When feisty little Sarah is finally locked up and ribbon-tied like a gift. Thanks, by the way. She put up such a fight. I struggled to get up, but she pulled my hair and pinned me to the ground. Uh-uh. Not going anywhere, sweetie. She smacked her lips in delight. My body felt paralyzed. Already my hands and feet had become numb. S Sarah? I think I'll have fun with you first. I wanted to fight. To cry out. But the frayed edges of my vision faded steadily into black. The sound of Sarah's scream was my endless lullaby. And three, the victim. Now, this may take me a little while to figure out because I wasn't even quite sure how I got to the wait sections earlier. So, alright, bear with me here. Okay, now we're on to the new options because my skip button is not highlighted. So we are reading new stuff. Now we should be able to get endings 7 and 8 from here, I believe. Alright, let's go. Sarah turned to me. So, Mike. Yes? To my horror, Sarah pointed a gun at me. Her face was stern. Who are you, really? Whoa, Sarah! What are you doing? Sarah, why do you have your gun? Well, aren't you glad? All right, let's just calm down here. Oh ho, don't try my patience, bucko. My trigger finger is getting itchy. Answer the question. Who are you? And what are you doing in my boyfriend's skin? Ugh, this is just like watching a nightmare come to life. Uh, okay, deny four times. Sarah, please put the gun away. Did you really think lying your way through this whole thing was going to end well for you? I'm going to ask you again. Why are you doing this? Deny? Sarah, I am Mike. You're making a big mistake. Oh, am I? Am I? Do you want to bet? Sarah's eyes blazed with anger. My body began to tense up, too. Sweat poured out of my orifices. Sarah, you're scaring me. Good, you should be scared. She nudged the gun's nose at me. Him, most of all. Are there more of you? What's your end game? Answer! Uh... Deny? I think this is, what, three? Put the gun down, Sarah. My ears rang as a gunshot was fired. Ugh. Oh my god, you just shot him on the foot! A hot, throbbing pain started to bubble in my leg. Now you can't run away. Next bullet will be in your gullet. Sarah, I think you need to calm down with the torturing. Don't tell me to calm down, like... Whatever he is, he does not mean well. I'm just concerned, you know? Uh, actually, they probably should have called the police a while ago. I mean, you just shot another me with a straight face. You were being way too calm about this. Let's just say my imagination has had enough practice. W what? Don't worry, honey. It's going to be all right. Uh, so she's thought about shooting him many times before, huh? Um, deny. Sarah, p please. I told you everything I can. No, you didn't. You're a liar. And this is your last chance. I'm going to ask you for the last time. Who are you? Um, uh, now I come clean. I was just playing the game. Thought it might be fun. So, 
You finally show your true face. I don't have a true face. That's boring. You humans get so attached to the pettiest things. I watched as Sarah's stance changed ever so slightly. She meant business now. Even Mike picked the bat up again. What are you? Mm, answer all the questions. Does it really matter? I'm simply a lost soul that got hungry. Let's keep it at that. Why me? Why my face? Did I do anything to deserve this? No particular reason. Personally, I believe it's fate. It was a while since my last meal. And your life looked tasty enough. Ugh. Um, thanks? <laughs> Some compliment. You look tasty. Oh, thank you. Don't mention it. Mike! Are you humoring the supernatural creature mimicking your face? <laughs> are there more of you out there? Do you really want to dig deeper? It's better if you don't. I don't think you'd survive the truth. But there are more of us. We are old. We are hungry. We lie in the shadows looking for prey. That is all you need to know. So you are eating Mike's life? Yes. It takes about a week. His skills, knowledge, and personality are disintegrating as we speak. <sighs> Even his memories. That is probably why Mike can't remember anything from yesterday. Soon, without any of his humanity to sustain himself, his own body will fail and atrophy. Starting from the heart to his internal organs, to his brain. And when he is nothing more than a husk, I will assimilate what is left of his life force. Sounds like heaps of fun. I will not let that happen. Ah, uh, leave peacefully. <laughs> Somehow that just seems so very far-fetched. Oh, you found me out. I'll go ahead and leave. But let's do it. During this moment of digestion, I am the weakest. I am most... human. Sarah, everything you said is still true. I am still Mike, heart and mind. I am he, and he is I. Right now, at least. I can't hurt you, Sarah. I can feel the chemicals in my blood, my memories, my judgment. It's clouded. Ah. It's just my luck I picked one of the few humans with a pure heart. P pure? How about all-around nice guy, hmm? Can't we just call me that? Better get rid of thy porn stash soon, pure boy. Angels are weeping. If you let me go, I will break the curse. You can break the curse? It's not going to be easy. But yes, I can do that. I'm the only one who can. How can we be sure? You might be tricking us into letting you go. If you trust Mike, then you trust me. I'm never a good liar when it comes to you. Sarah. Sarah's grip on the gun relaxed. Do it, then. Leave. But let's just make something clear. If Mike shows any kind of deterioration during this week, you can bet I will hunt you down. If you're still Mike, you know how serious I am. Am I understood? Yes. Goodbye, Sarah. And that was ending seven, The Stranger. Now we will go for ending eight. Oh, so I should have saved. Oh well, it doesn't matter. We just skip through text. Um, do the same thing as we did last time, except that at the last warning we attack. Or no, I guess it doesn't have to be the last warning. We can attack any time it says. So let's go. Whoop! Wait a minute. What? Did I do the wrong thing? No! No! Oh, I have to find my way back there again. Seriously? Loading. No! Darn it! Okay, I'll be back. Okay, we're back on track here with uh, ending number eight. I believe this should be uh, right here. And we're going to attack. Attack! 
I think this has gone on long enough. I lunged for the gun. Sarah! The sound of the gunshot echoed in my ears and in my body. I didn't know why I did it. I could have easily overpowered them. But somehow, at the last second... And eight. Dead ringer. Oh, that was a really short deviation from the other ending, so I really appreciate you joining me for this Let's Play. Um, it was a nice short novel. It was enjoyable, although a little bit difficult to uh, figure out as far as the one available walkthrough went. But uh, yeah, it was pretty nice. Nice little short free thing to do. I recommend checking it out, especially since it's free. Hope to see you in my future videos. I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show your support. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.